dignitaries to Baltimore Design School's fifth commencement exercise for the class of 2021. Give yourselves a round of applause. There you go. <laughs> For those who don't know me, I'm Mr. Hayes. I'm your master of ceremonies for this momentous occasion. We are here to celebrate 61 men and women who have persevered through insurmountable barriers to get to this most monumental milestone. We know that weather conditions are not the best. We had to alter some logistics for this event. However, despite the weather, this is a joyous occasion that no rain will damper. Give yourselves another round of applause. Our students were built for this. Any weather, any storm will not hold the Baltimore spirit and grit that our 61 graduates have that represent the class of 2021. So before we start our program, can we please have a moment of silence for the over 599,000 Americans, 9,667 Marylanders who have succumbed to the coronavirus. For those who have been directly or indirectly affected, this commencement is dedicated to you. So, at this time, will everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the Star Spangled Banner, and Lift Every Voice and Sing, sung by BDS's own Miss Kelly Gray. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight over the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, who say does that star-spangled Sound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song 
full of the faith that the dark past has brought us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of a new day begun, let us march on till victory is won. Okay, y'all can be seated now. Thank you, Ms. Gray. You know you always get us on our feet with that words and, and that voice, so we love it. So thank you so much. So before we begin our program, we would like to acknowledge the following dignitaries who will be joining us today. First, we have Ms. Sarah Warren, who is Baltimore City Public Schools Executive Director for Whole Child Services and Support. Ms. Warren, please stand if you can. And Mr. Ronald McFadden, who is our Commissioner of the Baltimore City Schools. Mr. McFadden. All right, so now let's get started. At this time, our guest, you will be looking at a video pre-recorded of our SGA president and our fellow graduate, Miss Alea Reed, who will now deliver the welcome address. Hello, Hello class, class of 2021. 2021. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon parents, parents guardian, and staff. First, First and foremost, foremost to my, my fellow classmates, classmates congratulations, congratulations, we did it. My name is Aaliyah Reed, and I have the honor of being class president of 2021. I just want to take this time to say, I know this journey has not been easy, but we've all done one heck of a job, not letting anything stop us from getting here today. In the past four years, we have created lifelong, precious memories that will forever stem from Baltimore Design School. Not only were we the first class to complete a senior year virtually, but we have also faced and conquered such unimaginable challenges this school year. Life, Life have definitely shown us what it is like to have routine and regimen thrown to the wind. Not, Not in our wildest of dreams would any of us here today have anticipated the likes and effects of COVID-19 and the new world and way of living forced upon us. Even with all of those added and unforeseen obstacles that we have encountered, each and every one of us has worked diligently to secure a page in the next chapter. Guess what, Class of 2021? Life is just beginning. There will be much more of the unexpected to come. Moving forward and whatever it is you have chosen to do in life, just be sure to take all of these experiences along with the strength gained from them with you. Always remember that we have prevailed and persevered. Not even the global pandemic was able to stop us. Keep close to the friends you have made and the teachers you trust because everyone here today has played a big role in our success. I also want to give a huge thank you to the whole BDS community and family especially Mr. Hayes. You would think by us being on Zoom for class, we would have caught a break, but then we're in a breakout room or in a meeting getting checked about grades. But seriously, thank you, Mr. Hayes, for standing on our backs and being sure each and every one of us were able to reach our full potential. Speaking of that, let's take this opportunity to thank our parents. Lord knows without them, none of us would be here today. Last but not least, I will remind you of a lesson this year, uh, in a lesson, we are certain to apply to our futures. Always expect the unexpected. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, Alea, for such a robust and spirited welcome. Being bestowed the honor of class salutatorian is no small feat. The hard work, the dedication, and the sacrifice to have the second highest average amongst his or her peers over a four year period is not an easy feat. However, for this year's salutatorian, he made it effortless. So please give a round of applause for Mr. Keyshawn Johnson, who will deliver the salutatorian address.
Good afternoon, families, faculty, and fellow graduates of 2021 Baltimore Design School. I'd like to thank all the families and school faculty and other guests for coming today to recognize us in this moment. It is with great pleasure that I finally say, we did it. We all have had worked hard to make it to this very moment, high school graduation. Each of us have had our own experience these past four years, especially with the unexpected pandemic, social distance learning, and just social chaos in general. But in spite of all of that, we have all gathered together to celebrate our achievements, triumphs, and victories as students and pre-adults. Our school gave us the opportunity to make something out of ourselves. So let's, not, so let's show them that the time and effort that they put into us won't be wasted. I'm sure as students, we all have had different moments at BDS that have propelled us to become hardworking but also independent students. For example, Mr. Hayes getting on our backs of our grades, having to learn virtually while in a pandemic, and not being able to see our friends in the school building. But for me, my propelling factor would be my parents. My mom is a hardworking and caring woman who instilled in me at a young age that education is very important and to try my hardest because that's all I can do. I only truly grasped what she said when I got into high school because there was no hand holding for me and I had to learn how to solve certain issues on my own. Then there was my dad. He told me that whatever career I chose to be in, um, oh, excuse me, whatever career I chose to do in life that I should enjoy it. But on June 29, 2017, my dad passed away. On that day, I made a promise to him and myself that I would be the best son and brother I possibly could be. I believe that I'm fulfilling that promise right now by making it to my graduation because most black, most black teens like, that look like me don't make it here. This graduation isn't the end of our journey as individuals. We each have our own goals that we are striving for, whether it be college, the military, or jumping straight into the workforce. Just do something that you love. I wish every one of you the best in whatever you choose to do. Congratulations, class of 21, 2021! Woo! Good job, good job, good job. Woo! You gonna make me cry. Here we go. All right. Woo! Keyshawn, you did a great job. I'm so proud of you and the rest of your esteemed classmates. Woo. So once again, we're going to have another pre-recorded message from Dr. Fred Lazarus, who is the President Emeritus of Maryland Institute College of Art, and he will be speaking on behalf of Baltimore Design School's Board of Trustees. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. I'm, I'm Fred, Fred Lazarus, Lazarus Chair of the Board of the Baltimore, Baltimore Design, Design School. School. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Baltimore Design School and me personally, I congratulate each of you, the class of 2021. You should be very proud of what you've accomplished to get to this day. And like your families and your friends and your teachers, we on the Board of Trustees are also very, very proud of you. I wish I were with you in person and could shake each of your hands as, and applaud you as your names are read and you walk across the stage. I personally wish I could ask you to join me in an applause of thanks to the Baltimore Design School teachers and staff who have worked so hard to support you on your journey to this day. And I also wish I could ask your applause for your family and friends who have been with you throughout this journey. However, since I am not together with you. Please let's just take a moment and quietly express our gratitude to those teachers and staff and your family for all they have done for you to get you to this point. Although this year has been far from a normal year, this ceremony has reminded me of the strong relationships that you have built during your time at BDS and what a wonderful community it is. In truth, you may never again be surrounded by so many people who are so supportive and caring. During this time at BDS, each of you has grown and developed academically and artistically, and of equal importance, 
you have developed self-confidence and personal strength. These are the qualities that now prepare you for the next leg of your life. The COVID virus has robbed you of your senior exhibit, your fashion show, your class trip, your prom, and so much more. However, it cannot and will not diminish what you have accomplished and the friendships that you have made, nor the capabilities that you have developed. These are the qualities and skills which have prepared you to continue to grow and to change the world that so desperately needs you for leadership. We are so proud of you and the legacy you have left at BDS. We are appreciative of the contributions that you have made to our wonderful school. Please stay in touch with us come back and support those who follow you. And again, on behalf of my fellow board members, we congratulate each of you, the class of 2021. Thank you, Dr. Lazarus, for your words of wisdom on behalf of the Baltimore Design School's Board of Trustees. The valedictorian of any graduating class can be seen at times as somewhat of an enigma. How can someone be so committed and so focused as to achieve the highest grade point average amongst his or her peers over the course of four years. The key words committed and focus lend themselves <coughs> when describing this young lady. Please give a round of applause to our, I mean, our valedictorian of the class of 2021, Miss Anaya Gardner, who will give the valedictorian address. Good afternoon to the class of 2021 teachers, staff, family, and friends. Today we are all gathered here to acknowledge all of the hard work, de dedication that we have put over, that we have put forth these past four years. Our last two years were very challenging, having to switch to virtual learning and adjusting to this very odd time in our lives. It led to some late nights and being overwhelmed with deadlines, but we got through it by uplifting each other. I know this is not how we expected to end our senior year, but look how far we have came. Came through, look how far we have come through it all together. It's only right that we continue pushing each other as we go our separate ways, because everyone needs that support, and they know that they can find it, especially in the BDS family. My journey started here at Baltimore Design School seven years ago, just a quiet middle school girl. Those of you who were here know how hectic middle school was, but we definitely had the time of our lives. Being a part of this BDS family means so much to me because this school has really helped see what I'm capable of. Not only what I'm capable of, but, but the overall purpose, but my overall purpose in this world and how I'm going to tackle it. I started expressing my inner self in ways I have never thought. I mean, I'm standing up here with pink hair. The old me would never. My talent has grown expeditiously over the years thanks to my teachers and support from my peers. I honestly don't know what path I would have taken if I didn't come across this place at the Middle School Choice Fair. I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who has played a part in my journey so far. Looking at all of you just makes me so proud because I can see the growth from four years ago and some seven. I was in such a rush trying to get over high school, but now that we are here, I wish we could have a few months together. I wish everyone luck on the path that they take after we walk across this stage for the last time. Whether you're going to college or not, be the best at what you do. All you need is faith. I love y'all, thank you. Y'all give her one more applause, please. And that's the face of a Banneker Key scholar who is going to the University of Maryland, Scott Free. I know you can't see a pretty face, but yes, she's gonna make us all proud. 
and just like the rest of you. So let's get this show going. So we are now to the commencement address. And this is so kind of 180 for us because five years ago when we had our first graduating class, who would have thought that our first valedictorian would now be a college graduate and giving the commencement address. So we are so excited to have Miss Macy Thomas, who just graduated from Howard University on a full scholarship. She will now be giving us the commencement address for the class of 2021. Hi everyone, I'm Macy Thomas, BDS alum from the inaugural class of 2017. And I'm here to congratulate you all on such an incredible achievement. Having spent the better part of six years at BDS and the remaining four in continued community with BDS, I've identified something that makes us very special. That is the skill set with which our school equips us and the diversity of our community. Even as someone who deviated from their BDS concentration to pursue a less creative field to study in college, the lessons I took from my design and art classes no doubt prepared me in ways that my purely academically trained peers were not. People will try to convince you that the nature of our school makes us less competitive in regards to academia, but let me stand as proof that that is far from the truth. If the imposter syndrome ever starts to seep in, if you ever start to doubt your preparedness, remind yourself that you are BDS made and not alone makes you bound for success. More importantly though, something very special that we leave BDS with are the friendships we foster with students and teachers alike. On almost a bi-weekly basis, as a fully adult woman four years out of high school, I still pester my BDS teachers for advice, academic or otherwise. Of course, I'm not recommending anyone be as much of a nuisance as I am, but I understand that our teachers love us and support us because they want us to be great. The ability to learn and be supported by such a passionate group of people is not an opportunity afforded to many, so don't take it for granted. The same can be said for the relationships we form with our friends. BDS brings together a diverse collective of people. Still, we thrive amongst all of the differences. All in all, these things prepare us for greatness, even in the face of adversity. In its 10 years, BDS students have had to grieve, they have had to take to the streets, they have had to abstain from well-deserved celebrations of their achievements amidst a global pandemic. Navigating this kind of landscape isn't easy for anyone, but as a diverse collective of designers with the future placed upon their shoulders, the task is particularly daunting. Because just as much as it becomes about survival, it also becomes about responsibility. Still, it is in these seemingly dystopian moments that we rise to the occasion. We design the future. I know all of this to be true because upon leaving BBS, the class of 2017 had a similar responsibility to uphold a legacy of excellence and service. In 2017, just months ahead of BDS's inaugural graduation, we lost one of our own who was set to walk across the stage, my friend Victoria Swift. In honoring him, my class collectively dedicated ourselves to change, to activism, to rising to the challenge through the pain. Just as you must dedicate yourselves, following a year similarly cloaked in loss, pain, and fear. As BDS graduates, we have always and must always rise to the challenge. We must continually support each other and remember our training in pursuit of these goals. BDS graduates are members of a very special group, and I would expect nothing less from you all than to make our community proud and represent us well. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Macy, for such a spirited and soulful address. So now, let's get ready, because we are almost there before you get your diplomas. So now I would like to welcome our principal, Mr. Darren Brozine, along with Ms. Sarah Warren, Baltimore City Public Schools Executive Director of Whole Child Service and Support, and Mr. Ronald McFadden, Commissioner of Baltimore City Schools, who will proceed with the recommendation, the presentation, and the acceptance of this year's graduating class 
of Baltimore Design School. Mr. Brozine. Thank you, thank you. In recognition of the records and achievements of the students of this class, and by the virtue of the authority vested in me as principal of Baltimore Design School, I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements of both the Baltimore City Public Schools and the Maryland State Department of Education. I take pleasure in recommending to you the graduating class of 2021. Good afternoon. I am Sarah Warren, the Executive Director of Whole Child Services and Support at Baltimore City Public Schools, and I am so happy to be here. Congratulations, Class of 2021. So, acknowledging the certification and the recommendation by the principal and by the authority vested in me as Executive Director for Whole Child Services and Support, I take pleasure in presenting to you the graduating class of 2021 for the conferring of diplomas and certificates. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you Ronald McFadden, Commissioner of Baltimore City Public Schools. Congratulations, class of 2021. Do me a favor, stand and give yourselves a round of applause one more time. This day is all about you. Just turn to each other really quickly. Don't touch them, but just say congratulations to you. Congratulations, you all made it through a pandemic and more. And now what I want you to do for a moment, I know, I know that you all are doing a great job, by the way. You all look wonderful and beautiful. But turn around to those cameras right there because your parents and family and everyone's watching you. Give them a round of applause, wave to them, tell them thank you for helping you to get to this moment as well. Wave to them, take a moment because they're watching. Thank you, family. Thank you, everyone. And here we are. In recognition of the certification of these graduates, the recommendation of your principal, Mr. Brozine, and the acknowledgement of the executive director, Dr. Warren, of Whole Child Services and Supports, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as commissioner of the Baltimore City Board of School Commissioners, I take pleasure in accepting the graduating class of 2021 for the conferring of high school diplomas and certificates. Congratulations, class of 2021. Well, it's about that time. I don't hear you, you ain't ready. It's about that time. Who's ready to get that paper? I don't believe you, who's ready to get that paper? That's what I'm talking about. Four years ago, I looked at y'all and I said, mm, I don't know, I just don't know. And I know your parents are looking and they probably saying, we just did not know. But if you didn't know, now you know. This is their time, and their time is now. Can I please have Mr. Brozine on that X, followed by Mr. McFadden, and then Ms. Warren, and then Ms. Gray, and then Ms. Hughes, and last but not least, the mother of our school, Mrs. Frederick, because when you get your name called, you're going to, and I'm going to see if I can move this up a little bit, because I need them to be, not about me, but I need them to walk, and I need them to be able to do what they need to do, and be happy with getting this diploma case, and look inside of it, and see your name in it, and see how hard you worked for it, and to know that nothing can stop you, and to know that the next step is right here, right now, and you're about to get it done for the next four years, next two years, and for the rest of your lives. Row one, stand up. And when I call your name, you are going to walk. That's right, Mr. Darwin, Mr. Slyker, we're ready for you. Let's get started. Let's start with Miss Anaya Gardner. Followed by Mr. Keyshawn Johnson. 
Then we have Alea Reed. We have Miriam Esther Arcobe. Then we have the Diamond Ash. And last but not least is Mr. Ahmad Osby. And when you walk, walk off the stage, please stand in your seats. Second row, please stand up. Now we have Miss Amari Osby. Then we have Mr. Darren Bell. Then we have Mr. Isaiah Bathia. And Miss Megan Biden Cap. Then we have Miss Janiah Bishop. And then we have Miss Cache Briggs. I think I might be going a little too fast, but never too fast when we're trying to get this party started. Can I get a what's up up in here? That's right. Row three, please stand up. Next, we have Miss Noelle Brown. Then we have Miss Nicolette Buchanan. Then we have Miss Aaliyah Chambers. Then we have Miss Malika Clark. Then we have Miss Brashana Coleman. And last, we have Mr. Michael Davis. Row four, please stand up. And guys, make sure that you are standing behind somebody. Move it over, Megan. There you go. <laughs> Are we having some technical difficulties? Guys, please see if you have Malika Clark's diploma. Okay, do we have Ms. Chambers' diploma over there? Who has Aaliyah's diploma? Okay, so we have those. Let's see if we can get those situated. Does everybody have their diplomas? Okay, Nicolette doesn't have her diploma. Do we have Buchanan over there? Okay, so Buchanan, come back up. Because we're going to make sure everybody get there just due. That's not yours? So whose is that? Okay, so do we have Janiah Bishops over there? Janiah, come on back up. Just bring him up. We'll figure it out. It's okay. It's your time. It's your time. Now I'm just going to do this a little bit slow. So, make sure you have Brashana Coleman's diploma and Michael Davis's diploma. There we go. That's what we're talking about. There we go. Come on, girl. Them cute shoes. There we go. So now we're going to take this a little bit slow. Here we go. Cashmere Diggs, you're up. Take your time in them yellow pumps, girl. Here we go. Deanna Fisher, you're up. She have to take just a little time because she's toting in them heels. Okay. Keep it up. 
All right. <laughs> Kala Ford, you're up next. Sana Ford, you're up next. Latasia G, you're up next. And Layla Glover, you're up next. Row five, please stand up. Chavez, you in the wrong seat, but you're up next. Let's go. You're up next. Let's go. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. J.C. Simone Gregg, you're up next. I got you, Damien. I got you. Y'all in the wrong seats, so I got you. Damien Gosley, you're up next. And Mikhail Hall, you're up next. <laughs> Row six, get ready, please. Martia Harrison, you're up next. Kajan Jenkins, you're up next. I'm sorry, hold up. Mm -mm. Xavier Husband is up next. Kajan Jenkins, you're up next. Earl Jones, you're up next. Kanad Joyner, you're up next. Next rows, please stand. Now this next diploma, we did have this young man here, but unfortunately he sustained an injury. So this is very special to us because this is the third time we've actually had a parent accept a diploma on behalf of their child. So if I can have everybody please stand up for Mr. Colin Kelly, and then we have dad that's accepting his diploma. So Mr. Kelly, please come on up. Nia Launch, you're up next. Adrea Lawson, you're up next. Nasser Lee, you're up next. Cameron Lyles, you're up next. And Sir Chop himself, Mark Meeks, you're up next. Next row, please stand. Raya Merchant, you're up next. Michaela Miner, you're up next. Thank you. 
got it. Shaheed Montgomery, you're up next. Artemis Neal, you're up next. There you go. Jed Rudis, you're up next. Damonte Shackelford, you're up next. Let me, get, next row, please stand. Cause they're gonna need some time. Kalia Smith, you're up next. And Takaya Smith, you're up next. And Tajay Smith, you're up next. Cause you know, they got those heels on, so they need a little bit of time. I keep telling y'all, y'all stay focused. Stay to the front, cause the camera looks good on you. This is your day. Make sure we stand up. I see people sitting. It ain't no time to sit. We got to stand, girl. I know them heels hurt, but we got to stand. Let's go. Christopher Stevens, you're up next. Tanea Thomas, you're up next. Harrell Tomlin, you're up next. <laughs> Stephanie Tora Taruno is not here, but she is next. And then Warnell Watts, you're up next. Next row, please stand. Lawrence Wheeler, you're up next. Nadia White, you're up next. And Walter White, you're up next. Sean Whiting, you're up next. William Winley, you're up next. And the last row, please stand. Anala Wright, you're up next. Nadia Wright, you're up next. And last but not least, I'm so proud of this young man. He's made it a long way. And before I cry, I'm just so proud of him. Jonathan Yanes, you are up next. Let's go. That's right. And there you have it, the graduating class. Matter of fact, let me say that, the graduates 
of 2021 here at BDS. Give yourselves a round of applause. My families who are watching in another area of the building, you better stand and rejoice and be glad in it because no rain stopped us from having this day. And we had some challenges, yes we did, but joy comes in the morning. So thank you for joining us on this special occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, you now may have a seat. And let me see if people are in the right seat, in the right place, at the right time. Here we go. All right, we worked, we worked. Good job, there you go. Give yourselves another round of applause, please. All right. So, before we close this party out, give it up one more time for our new principal, soon to be installed principal, Mr. Darren Brozine, who will give closing remarks. All right, how about that, huh? Wow, that was great. Thank you, thank you so much. And you guys have been amazing. As I provide closing remarks here today, I want to first acknowledge how great it has been to see your faces. Well, well, at least this much of them. These last few days, as we geared up for this graduation, you all have been the missing piece to the school this year as we engage virtually for much, if not all, of your senior year. We missed your presence in our school. We miss the relationships and the connections that bring everyone in our community together. And we missed your voices in our building. The challenges this class has experienced have been large as COVID closed our schools down last March and initiated virtual learning. No one knew at the time how long that would last. We now reflect to see that we lost part of your junior year and all of your senior experience. Still in the face of adversity, you persevered. You knew that your future would not wait and that you needed to continue to engage to prepare for the next leg of your journey. You knew that you needed to become college and career ready and that the expectations would always remain high. You took the necessary steps to be sitting here today and for that, congratulations. <laughs> Obstacles will always appear that seek to prevent you from attaining your goals and dreams. Your path may not always go as you initially thought. But you are designers. And as I told the graduating class last year, and I'll say again this year, you can use your creativity to get around any wall. You can use your critical thinking skills to knock down any obstruction. And you can use your determination to climb over any barrier. Your futures are bright, even though it may be rainy outside. Continue to design your future and always remember the lessons that you've learned, both the missteps and the successes. Never let anyone get in your way and show the world that you are the 2021 Baltimore Design School graduating class. And I want everybody in this room and all the folks who are watching, whether that's the cafeteria, whether that's in your car, whether that's your home, I want everybody here to hear you celebrate these folks. We want to hear you in the cafeteria. We want to hear you outside because that's what this class deserves. These are the BDS graduates of 2021, and we want to hear you from wherever you are today. Again, congratulations for all your accomplishments. Thank you for being you. Thank you for making Baltimore Design School the school that it is. Thank you, Mr. Brozine. So seniors, 
With great strength comes great responsibility. You are now stronger than you were four years ago, a week ago, and even yesterday. Now it is your time to continue to become stronger and wiser, especially in the world we currently live in. Be stronger for your families, your friends, your communities, and the world at large. But most importantly, be stronger for yourselves. You can design the world to be a better place, and we hope that you take all that you have learned here at Baltimore Design School to design your lives as you see fit. For those of you who have class rings, please flip your rings from looking at you to now facing the world so the world knows exactly where you come from and you come from good stock. Now you will move your tassel from the right side of your head to the left side. That now officially commandeers you high school graduates. No one can take that away from you. Congratulations. And on a personal note, this is a little bit of sweet for me because this is my last time seeing you, not just in the building, but possibly forever, because I will not be with you next year if you call the school. But you see these people here, and you see the people behind you, they got your backs, like I'll always have your backs. And if you ever need me, just call me. I'll be there no matter where you are, no matter how far. I have enjoyed this ride with you. From nagging you about your financial aid, to worrying you about what school you're going to, to fussing you out about your grades, and how you speak, and how you walk, and how you talk, and how you dress. The world will not be as caring, and as nurturing, and as loving as we are at 1500 Barclay Street. So you take what you have gathered in your toolbox and you use it. And whatever trouble, whatever worry, whatever disdain that you may come up against, know what you are about. Know where you come from and know that the spirit of Baltimore Design School will forever be in your mind and in your hearts. And I love each and every one of you. If you have my number, I am only a phone call away. We have finally reached the end of our fifth commencement exercise. And on behalf of our principal, Mr. Brozine, our faculty, staff, and the board of trustees, we want to thank our BDS alum, Ms. Macy Thomas, for delivering an exceptional commencement speech. We also want to thank our esteemed guests and dignitaries who were able to share this special occasion with us. We want to personally thank all the friends and the families who gather with us today whether they be in the cafeteria, whether they be in their cars, whether they be at their homes. I want to thank all the mamas and the grandmamas, the aunties, the female cousins, for always being the strength and the nurture of our school community. But I also got to thank the daddies and the granddaddies and the uncles and the male cousins, stepdaddies and any father figures, because as much as we leave them out, they are the backbone of our school community. So please give them a round of applause as well, because you never know. We need all support from all ends. So that's going to be important. Like I said before, you are now forever part of us. 2021 is a milestone year, and you are a part of the rock that is going to build a new generation of movers and shakers in this world. Don't you forget it. You ain't letting us down. Don't let yourselves down. You now have the piece of paper. Now empower somebody so they can get theirs the same way we empowered you to get yours. So at this time, I would like everyone to stand And we will have Miss Anaya Gardner lead you out of that door. You may begin.
Good morning. How are you feeling today? I just want to lay in bed and not do this. Hold on to my mind before I lose it. Bill Collector calling for the fifth time. Hmm, wish they get off my line. Dreams when my eyes close. I see myself living life like it's golden. Uh, like that Jill Scott line. Like the McDonald's sign. Pray to God for a sign. I've been stuck on rewind. Life's a challenge sometimes. Want to give up, but I know I'm one of a kind. Now I'm ready for battle. So bring out the troops. I pull out the suit. To me, superheroes look like me and you. Peace. 